Zurich, Switzerland's largest city, has a radical goal. To reduce the amount of energy its residents use by two-thirds and become a 2,000 watt society. That is 2,000 watts every second of every hour, every day. If you take the total amount of energy being consumed on Earth and you divide it by the number of people, it works out to roughly 2,000 watts per person. That's the amount of energy it would take to keep 20 100 watt light bulbs burning. But how many of us are using more than our share? Top of the list are Americans who use 12,000 watts each. Europeans use about half that much. Africans and Bangladeshis less than 700. So can each member of a modern Swiss family really live on the same energy it takes to power 20 light bulbs? Martina Bloom, an environmental economist, decided to try in a custom-built house with a ventilation system that recycles all warmth, including body heat. There's this heat exchange where the uh, incoming air is warmed up. Features like that are expensive, but Swiss banks offer lower mortgages for energy-efficient homes. To conserve even more energy, the family also eats locally produced food. Still... Your goal is 2,000 watts. How close are you? We are around um, 3,500. Not quite down to 2,000 watts, but well on the way with no loss of comfort. The 2,000 watt society is not uh, what some people criticize. They say, well, it's cold, <laughs> it's uncomfortable, it's no fun. And this is not true. Swiss cities are investing serious public money in the 2,000 watt vision, making trains and trams easier and cheaper than cars, and encouraging people to cycle or walk. The effort is paying off. In cities like Basel and Zurich, about 40% of the households don't even own a car. Anna and Bernd Roschewitz certainly don't, and they recently decided to renovate their 1960s home to a 2,000 watt standard. And it's proven, it's proven technology. Maybe the, the combination here or the target we set is a bit ambitious, uh, but it's, it's not really, we are not even pioneers anymore. Maybe not pioneers, but the Swiss are trailblazers, showing the world a 2,000 watt future can look very bright. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Zurich.